Coming up, billionaire Bill Gates has now bought a huge investment in beer maker Anheuser-Busch. But will his interest help or hurt the brand? Branding and marketing expert Mark Rudolph joins us next. More on American Agenda. This week, billionaire Bill Gates made headlines after making what some called a $95 million bet on Bud Light and its parent company, Anheuser-Busch. But our next guest says Bill Gates isn't really betting on Bud Light at all. He's betting on Anheuser-Busch's other beer, Michelob Ultra. Branding advisor and author of Intrabranding, the keystone of corporate agility, Mark Rudolph joins us alongside media strategist and host of the What's Bugging Me podcast, Dennis Neely. Mark, I want to go to you first. Why is Bill Gates really betting on Michelob Ultra? Well, technically, it's not Bill Gates. It's Cascade Asset Management. It's the company investing on behalf of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The reason is, is because of Michelob Ultra. It's a beer that is purported to be number one in the U, at least in the US in 2027. Let's make it very clear. Bud Light is completely dead. So this has nothing to do with the investment. And this guy, uh, Michael Larson, this is the chief investment officer at Cascade Asset. He's the one who decided that this would be a good investment because if it's going from where it is now to number one, that's going to be a good ROI. Uh, Bill Gates uh, is not stupid. And I'm sure to, to say he had nothing to do with it, uh, I doubt that. But uh, this Larson guy is the one who did it. The thing is, is that uh, InBev Anheuser-Busch better make a decision fast. Okay. Because Bud Light is a boat anchor and they have to unload this these two labels budweiser and bud light and there's one guy waiting in the wings with financing lined up to take both of them and that is billy bush and so they better sit down with their pencils and calculators yeah, and make from the decision. family the bush Very family quickly. dennis your your thoughts here yeah well clearly mark far more expert on this category than i am but i really do feel like for bill gates and Bud Light, they're both such battered brands. And this is a bet by Bill Gates' fun guys. And I would bet that Bill Gates had no idea of this because 95 million isn't scratch in his worth or his foundation. But this is a bet that America has a short attention span and that a boycott against Bud Light will end in one day. These brands that have been around for decades and spending hundreds of millions of dollars building themselves, they can survive a boycott eventually. And that's what this bet really is. Uh, no, Den no, disagree with you, Dennis. Please. No, Bud Light is dead. InBev has no ability to resurrect th this label. Only Billy Bush can do it. It is all about Michelob Ultra. Bud, Bud Light is now a punchline. You know, you've heard of Liberty Safe. Liberty Safe just gave the combination uh, of a customer safe to the FBI. There's been an outroar on Twitter. And what are they doing? It They're saying that it is like Bud Light. They're boycotting Look, it. They're calling it Bud Light. I understand what you're so saying, but the fact is... It's not coming back. I understand what you're saying, Mark, but the fact is Bud Light still has a market share around 8%. It lost the number one slot to Modelo, and yet it's still got 8% of the market, which is almost as much as it had before this brohaha. The fact that the brand is done is to me, I mean, you're doing a good job of talking down the price for when Billy Bush decides to buy it. And by the way, <laughs> that is a great idea. And that no, could be really I, fun I for Billy it Bush. It sounds like a great idea. And believe me, I would do that, but I'm not doing that. Uh -huh. Bud Light is dead, officially. It is a punchline. And InBev has no power. Michelle Ducaris. You know what? Dan, you know, isn't Modelo, but, but hang on a second, Mark. Uh, Modelo has taken, uh, you know, the lead, if you will. Right. So the Mexican beer. Yeah. So if you're saying Michelob could, could be the winner, that's assuming then Michelob is going against Modelo. Uh, yeah, if, people, if you give up on Bud Light. But a lot of people don't know that Michelob is associated with Anheuser-Busch. Okay. So, so you're thinking that could change. A, but or or is, that's okay. Once you, once you destroy... But then, is that a different market than, than Modelo? Um, because it seems to me that Michelob is a different market than Modelo. It's, it, but it's Michelob Ultra, which is a light beer. The okay. thing is, once you destroy your brand, and a brand, let's face it, a brand is the emotional connection between customers and a vendor. Once you destroy that, it's done. You can't come back. So they have to get rid of it. It's an albatross. Okay. It's a liability. They have to get rid of it. I, again, the longer they hang on to it, the more it's going to be worth okay. even less than zero. Again with a destroy. Again with a destroy. I mean, the fact is, I'll bet you a year from now that, that Bud Light's share 
is at least 7% or 8% the way it is today. And if I win, we have dinner at a place of my choice. And if you win, you get to have dinner with someone else at a place of your choice. <laughs> and if you're and willing to fly to Pittsburgh, you're on, Dennis. Okay. Okay. I, I, I will believe Bud Light is back when, when they bring about country music. You and I both go to country music oh, yes, festivals. Indeed. It used to be the yeah. beer. Imagine if they could know. sign yeah. Oliver Anthony. They kind of blew that. So yeah. uh, My I, it, track record for predictions is pretty damned accurate. Okay, uh -huh. well... Uh, if I win, I get to not have dinner with you. So um, we'll, we'll leave you with both. I'll have dinner no matter what. <laughs> and, 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 and you'll get dinner no matter what. We all have to take her to dinner. All right. Mark Rudolph, Dennis Neal, thank you, Thanks, gentlemen. You bet.